Thank you all so much for stopping by today. A little bit windy, but definitely a warmer day than what we've seen over the past week. Now, I've had so much fun today, y'all, that I actually had to sit down, take me a little break, but I'm out here ready to get the containers planted or four of the containers that I talked about. So if you haven't been joining us on the Sunday live every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, if it's not raining, if it's not too cold, I know I talked about uh, some of the things that we may do during the winter months. Uh, maybe we'll answer some questions inside and maybe go a little bit in depth or maybe teach some different things about gardening during those months. But yeah, I just got back from the garden center. I did. I brought some more plants, but I'm going to get some planted up. Every time I feel like I'm getting a dent, uh, with getting those plants planted either in the raised beds or the ground, I somehow managed to bring home some more plants. But um, like I said, y'all, I talked about all of the goals that I wanted to get accomplished this week. Um, we're going to, and the containers were one of them. I don't think it'll take too long. So just make sure that you stick till the end. Uh, I have went back and forth with what I want to put in there. At first, I wanted to do all one plant all the way down, but I think I'm going to switch it up a little bit. So y'all know how I am. If you don't, sometimes I will say that I'm going to plant one thing, but as I'm planting, as I'm pulling things out, switching things out, it's just something that says, don't do this, do that. And I do, I go with my gut. I go with my intuition. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today. Make sure you stick around. We're going to get these containers planted up. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay. So we got everything planted at the hours. I'm going to be, I'm going to be totally honest with y'all, but let me tell you, it was so peaceful sitting on the patio and just replanting all of these containers. I'm going to go through two because remember I said that I didn't want to plant all of them the same um, as I intended, but we got two that are the same. It's like two strawberries, which is what you see right here. But let me tell y'all this really quick. Okay, so I went to the garden center today and it was two types of strawberries. And me being so funny about how should I put it? So when I buy plants, I inspect them. I'm, I'm just going to be honest with y'all because I feel like sometimes when you get the different multi-packs, if you don't look within, some of them might be missing one. Some of them might be on their way out. And I always say, I know if people were really watching me from a camera, they would probably be like, what is this lady doing? Like, why is she doing our plants like this? It's because I want to get the best. Whatever I'm buying, I want to get the best of. And so while I was trying to get the best, I was trying to get two varieties, but within switching things out, I ended up getting all the same varieties. So I'm, so I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to go back and get the Chandler strawberries. So they had Ozark and they had uh, Chandler strawberries. The Ozark, because this is the one I got that was really good and um, they were great for containers. So if you got container gardenings, you got hanging baskets, these were really great. They produce a lot of runners. But the Chandlers were also great for like big, juicy, sweet strawberries. And I thought I had got a variety of those, but I didn't. So let's walk down here. With all of that said, y'all, let's walk down here. So I got some hanging baskets that were already put together maybe two weeks ago. And they had five in there. And I said, mm, that seems a little bit too much. So what I did was I only put three in here because I know they're going to produce runners. So we got strawberries strawberry plants right here and I'm gonna watch them y'all because I know we got the birds do y'all hear them in the background honey the birds be all over here but I saw a red cardinal yesterday and it was so beautiful but we got the strawberries right here as we walk down what I did was put the violas right here and so um they are gonna pop back up but this one particularly had the flower on here so i want to show you how it looks so we got the violas right here i put five in here so that they can be really full 
together once they grow together and i'm going to link the container garden um video that i just did where i planted up y'all walk back with me where i planted up this container so that other flower was what i could not figure out which one that i wanted to put in here and I ended up going with this viola right here because I had the yellow calendula right here, but it was a toss up between those two. And I'm really glad that I put these right here because we'll have a contrast, we'll have the yellow. So we got the strawberries right here and then we have the, um, oh, please tell me I put the tag in one of them. Yep, I did. Okay, so this one right here, is the it's called sorbet icy blue um viola so it gives you this color right here and then we have the strawberry one right here and then the other viola right there so it's just like two strawberry planters two viola planters because what i was originally going to do is put all of these uh sorbet icy blue planters all four going down and i was like oh that might be a little bit too much so we'll see as they grow because what the strawberries are going to do is give us a pop of red and also give us some fruit if i stay on top of it but this is what i want to tell you all so whenever i plant strawberries this season if i get flowers or anything like that or something that seems to be making a strawberry i will take that flower off so that next season hopefully there'll be some big nice strawberries that's just what i do um the first season just the first season because a lot of times i'll buy strawberries and they will have the flowers on there and i will just pinch them off and then the next season i'll let them you know go into the full strawberries that's just how i do you got to do what works for you i always tell people that don't just do what works for you and try it out don't let people say do it this way do it that way try it out because if y'all caught the live yesterday it's a lot of things that i'm trying out this season i'm trying it out out of laziness and i'm also trying it out just because somebody said that that's what they do and i want to see does it really need to be done or can i do it my way okay so i'm excited to see how these containers are going to grow throughout the fall and the winter season um again i'll make sure i look the, uh, link that video because we've really been replacing a lot of our container planters um with fall and winter flowers so i definitely want you to um go back and look at those but i think i'm just going to get from this view as we continue to go into the fall and winter season y'all see the four planters they're going to be beautiful um don't worry about the don't don't worry about the wagon right here i'm, I'm gonna do all of that okay <laughs> I'm going to do all of that and get that out the way, but we've gotten those done. So this was one of my garden chores for this week, y'all. We can go ahead and we can check that off, okay? So again, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and sub hit the subscribe button. Make sure you tap the bell because I always, I just don't want to show you at this phase i want to show you throughout the different phases and i am the gardener that will show you the good the bad the ugly if it don't make it i'm gonna tell you if it has gotten eaten up by pests i'm gonna tell you um i never like to make things seem like it's so easy and so glorious because what i do tell people is it is some work in gardening okay but you just have to amount that time but all of it will be perfect all of it will come together so as always thank you all so much for watching this video make sure you share this video with your family and your friends and if you're not a subscriber go ahead tap the subscribe button make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time Time we upload a new video again thank you all so so much for watching and until the next video bye bye